This is and I'm right next to Gaian Maya Station because today I'm going to Jingo Gaian Ginko Avenue to see the beautiful autumn trees here in Tokyo. Let's go! We're in the Meiji Jingu Outer Garden and it seems like everybody else has the same idea as me. They want to see the beautiful trees here in Tokyo. Oh, so from November 25th to December 3rd, they will be lighting up this street from 1630 to 1930. So guys, we're gonna walk through. I just took pictures at the crossing. Oh, look at this. Wow. A lot of people are dining at this restaurant called Royal Garden Cafe. It's a very good idea, but the lines are really long. Wow, it is so beautiful. There's a Shake Shack here, guys, if you want to eat a burger while watching the trees. Oh, so you can take pictures in the street because they coned it off. So I'm at the end of the avenue and it looks like there's a festival going on, so let's check it out. So if you're traveling with a group or a partner, I suggest standing here and then your partner goes on the crosswalk and you take a picture while they cross. We're at the Tokyo Christmas Market. Guys, I don't have a ticket so I'm gonna go on this side. I'm assuming it gets really crowded at night. It just started yesterday, November 23rd. So I paid with cash, so they accept Suica, Pasmo, or PayPay. We're at the Tokyo Christmas Market. <gasps> I want a pretzel. By the way, guys, I didn't like the pretzel. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's a little too hard for my liking. Oh, look how cute that is! So I think they're going for like the European Christmas market vibe. I'm comparing this to the Yokohama Christmas market. This one is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more spacious. It's not so cramped. I'd say come here if you've never been to a Christmas market before. So that's the Meiji Memorial Museum. Oh wow! very hot right now it's like 73 degrees we've had a couple cold days but today is especially hot what's this guys there's like a fair here i thought this was part of the christmas market but it's not oh, wow. guys i feel like i'm in a k-drama i want to cry <laughs> We're going to Omote Sando. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go shopping in Omote Sando, Tokyo. Hi guys, 
I'm outside Omota Sando Station and we're gonna go shopping around Omota Sando which is considered the Champs-Elysees of Tokyo. It is world renowned for its architecture and of course it's luxury shopping so let's go! So from Omota Sando Station I'm going to cross because I want to see the architecture of the Prada building. So the Omota Sando Station is only one station away from Agayamai which we saw all the autumn trees. pop-up store so I just asked the staff and it, indeed it's a pop-up store oh my god what an incredible job they've done look at the butterflies it is a dream yeah I see Balenciaga it's a little doggy there's a Cuccinelli store Right across. Miu Miu is right next to Stella McCartney. As you can see, there's a bit of traffic, so walking is definitely better than taking a cab right now. Ah, the Prada store. This is an iconic Prada store. It's a standalone store. It was built by the Swiss architecture team of Herzog and Demiron. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. And some of the glass is curved. see inside the store there's a yokumoku right here I want to buy some but I don't really don't want to carry it around while I'm walking around Tokyo and plus I'm holding the camera ah and it has a cafe guys they call it the blue brick lounge Ooh, it's an afternoon tea 3,520 yen for this afternoon tea set oh how nice I love Tokyo so much. You can buy the stuff that they have here. Cakes, cookies, they have the best desserts. So that red brick building, that's Koss. Guys, the row is on the third floor of this building. It's like <laughs> a secret door or something. So cool. It's right next to the Prada building. Such a nice day today. Tiffany, oh, an Apple store. I'm on one of those crosswalks, guys. Okay, so this boss is also iconic for his architecture. Saint Laurent. That's the Bottega Veneta store right there. It's really a fun and exciting place to shop because all the stores are here and you can get tax-free if you're from overseas. Boucheron, Harry Winston. I love what they've done with the facade of the Hermes store. It's so unique. Let's go inside Omota Sando Hills here in Omota Sando, Tokyo. beauty here. If anything guys, I'm just here for the bathroom. Uh, Fendi is right next to Dior. I found Ralph's Coffee. Island Vintage Coffee. It's my favorite coffee shop in Hawaii. I didn't know they have a branch here in uh, Motosando. I found Kitty Land. One of my favorite stores growing up. I hope there's not a line. It doesn't look like there's a line, but I want to check out Cat Street for some vintage shopping. Let's go. I'm assuming this is Cat Street. It doesn't have a sign. Hobby store. Sutan Hobby. This one is Harajuku, Chicago. It's like they have a lot of outerwear and menswear. Oh, these are cool. They also have Dickies. I read on a blog that it's named Cat Street because the vintage goods are called rat goods or something and the people who get them are cats. This one is vintage on the planet. I 
never go wrong with the Second Street guys. Most of the stores don't allow videos or photography. There is a long line here at the matcha. I'm assuming they sell matcha. <laughs> Replica here on Cat Street. I'm hoping they have like Chanel vintage stores. I just really want to buy leather goods. Takoyaki. In case you need to go grocery shopping. What is this? Child woman. <laughs> okay, we're going here. Camellia. I see vintage Chanel, Louis Vuitton. This is where we're going, guys. Let's talk about the prices at that Camellia uh, vintage store. The prices were <laughs> crazy. I think it's a good deal if you get tax-free, which for me doesn't work out since I live here. I don't get the tax-free benefit. There was one Chanel bag that I was eyeing at. It was about $5,000 used. There's a cute little bakery here. I'm walking to Kitty Land. I got sidetracked. This place is so cute. The bingo brothers. I love, it's like a hidden gem here in Amatesando. Oh, it's like an accessory store. Kitty Land's right there, guys. Did it used to be Snoopy Town? I think I remember growing up it was Snoopy Town. I could be wrong. Wow, it's so crowded. I appreciate every comment, like, and every subscriber and every viewer. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm sending abundance, peace, calm, and joy your way. Adiba. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.